All right, so I'm going to show how to do the vertical bowl boost from hub 2 to hub 3. Uh, I was having some problems with it the other night, and some of the tutorials that I was getting weren't helping. There was one tutorial that was a bit more helpful. helpful. It was an in-depth hub 2 skip with bubble bowl. It was a pretty helpful video, and what he did was he was using the fence, lining it up with a dot, and by fence I mean like the beam that's up above. I'll mark it inside the video and editing, but... editing but basically he's lining it up with a dot on the sand which it was an okay method but there was just too much movement and I knew there had to be an easier way so the method that I've been doing is I've just been walking up here I have been doing the same thing lining up the beam with the top of the sand but I have been lining up the first post with the edge of the rock that's right next to you when you do that that seems to give you a perfect lineup with that and then you're just going to want to take Spongebob and kind of line them up about halfway above the blue dot. Once when you do that, the rest of it is audio cues with a bubble bowl. And what you're going to want to do is, if you listen closely, I've turned off uh, some of the audio so you can hear it better. But if you listen closely, you can kind of hear like a whoosh noise. Once when it does that noise, and I'm assuming that noise is... um due to him doing like a full rotation with the ball that's like a charge up noise but once when you hear that noise twice right before it does it the third time or once when it starts doing it the third time is where you're going to want to let go of the bubble bowl then jump and push forward on your thumbstick and it should launch you into the air so i'm going to go ahead and give it a shot As you can see, it launches you up. Once when you get launched up, what you're going to want to do is use your shadow, use the shadow of Spongebob, to land on this side of the fence. I don't know uh, how accurate this is, but it seems that every time that I land inside that gap right below me, there seems to be a missing spot inside the skybox, and you can fall down to the rocks, and then you have to completely restart this jump. But... Landing on this side is going to be the side that you kind of want to get to anyway, because from here what you're going to do is you're going to stand above the ticket booth, and you're going to want to walk, jump, spin, jump, spin, and then spin the rest of the way down onto the chum bucket. You can miss this, so be cautious, but it looks a little like this. Once on top of here, you can collect the spatula, and then go over to the Krusty Krab sign, and there should be some extra health laying here. Now, anytime that you need to get back into this area, obviously you're not going to be able to use the gate. So you're just going to click start. And you're going to come here to the spatula on the pause screen. 